three ring maintenance. So. Guys, if you're a skydiver, you should be doing this monthly. I haven't done it in a couple years, so. <laughs> you should be doing this monthly, you I guys. Think we might be neglecting. A little bit, but that's, you know, that's part of the reason I wanted to go through the coach course anyways, get my knowledge up personally, and also um, be more current with my knowledge, you know, get updated on everything we need to do. So, this is, these these risers, these are called risers, they lead to your canopy, which is back here. And these are what holds the canopy to your harness, right? These, these actual straps here go to the reserve canopy and they're hardwired in, so you can't cut that away. But the main canopy, if in the event of a malfunction, you gotta cut it away and go to your reserve. So, a three ring release helps do that. So we're gonna pull the cut away in order to do our monthly three ring maintenance. If you've never pulled your cutaway handle in real life, like me, this is good for you to do and experience it. So, you gotta peel, Punch. Oh, there we go. And clear. So, that lets go. You see this doodad dangling here? It's, the cable releases this. This little string here is literally what attaches the parachute to you at all times while you're skydiving. Get that in. Get that. Sink that into your grape, into your dome, into your brain housing group. This little thing is what attaches the parachute to you. I love skydiving because it takes balls. Anyways, then this ring will release. This ring will release and then it all just slips out and you're in free fall again. So for your, your monthly maintenance, skydivers, you can see that it's kind of like the metal's kind of wearing in here and this fabric tends to get real stiff over time if it's not moved. You want it to be somewhat flexy bendy, so every month, pull your cutaway handle, make sure this fabric isn't all stiff, it's all good. It's not overly worn, looks pretty good. I think I am going to be due for some new risers in the next, in the, probably in this year. Things are starting to get frayed, but uh, for now they're good to go. How often do you need to replace your risers? Every two to four hundred jumps, it depends on their wear, really. It goes. Hope you are ready. And then it goes. Yeah, also a good thing to do is lubricate your cutaway. Tubage. We don't have any um, lubrication. I feel like it's gonna be easier if I do this one first.
You have the hard cable housings, yeah? Yeah. Guys, it's a good call. If you're searching for skydiving equipment, get the hard cable housings. If you're on your back and you got a wildly spinning main canopy, and you don't have hard housings, it's gonna be real hard to cut away. This is frustrating. <laughs> this is frustrating me right now. It's one of those jobs that you really have to like stick your tongue out for. <laughs> Guys, I know it can be frustrating, but make sure that your three ring release system is routed properly when you put it together. Otherwise, you're gonna have an unexpected cutaway. Thank you so much for watching, and please smash that like button if you like these videos so we can bring you some more. Uh, subscribe so you get updated, and we'll see you next time.